talk a bit about what are the keys to success as an expert witness based on my own experience and what I've seen in other cases. A couple of basics are that there needs to be a good match between the expert's expertise and the issues involved in the case. And the expert also needs to be collaborative in the way they work with attorneys. Or let's talk first a, bit, a little bit about the expertise. The attorney knows the issues in the case, can describe them to the expert. The expert can des describe their expertise. In my case, it's water and wastewater treatment. I have 50 years of experience in water and wastewater treatment. I've written 10 books on the subject, and I've been involved in cases where I've represented plaintiffs, defendants, contractors, owners, and design engineers. And I've testified in state and federal court. You know, if it looks at a good match, fine, we continue down the path and work on the case. If not, I always try to refer the attorneys to someone I know in the field. And I've got a pretty good network with 50 years of experience. I probably know somebody that's a better match if I'm not the right match. Then in the collaboration area, uh, the attorneys, you know, has got a wealth of information on the project. I mean, a lot has happened, but the point you bring in an expert, you're quite a ways down the path in the project. So by the full disclosure of this information to the engineer, in my case, I plow through that personally. I do an analysis of the documents. I test for strong points and points of potential vulnerability in the case. You know, prepare a report. And it's also very important that the expert be able to express their findings in language that can be readily understood by a lay jury. We'd certainly like to talk to you about your project to see if we may have a good match.